Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL, and today, Chow Chats, Doncaster Rovers. We've made a signing after quite a while since the last one, but to be fair, this time, we've waited on a signing for a little while, and we're not actually mad that we've waited this long because we've done great business. We've done great business, and this is probably or possibly going to be the last signing we make, depending on what happens on moves out of the club. But this is going to be one of the last bits of in movement that we do. And it's an attacking player. It's a winger. Those of you who were at Boston United will know who this is. Those of you who weren't, <clears throat> excuse me, will get to know him eventually. It is Deji Satona, the former United and Burnley Academy man, the former Nice man. He has signed on a two-year deal. He's joined up with the squad at St. Andrew's Training Camp in Scotland. We're going to go through the facts. We're going to go through the club's statements, the comments, and my thoughts on this signing because I did have to do quite a bit of research on this particular player uh, at this past as well. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to demo YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subs. Go and subscribe to Chell Chats theme parks as well. We've hit 3K on there. Let's get to 3K on this particular channel as well. And for now, guys, let's talk all things Deji Satona. Deji Satona. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. And let's talk about everything about Deji. So let's start off there with the club's official statement, as always. And the statement reads as follows. Uh, Rovers, I'd like to confirm the signing of forward Deji Satona on a two-year deal. The 20-year-old spent much of his first few weeks of pre-season on trial with Rovers and featured in the friendly at Boston United. He's earned himself a contract and joined up with the Rovers squad midway through the training camp in Scotland. The former Republic of Ireland age group international joined Man United's academy as a 13-year-old and remained until 2020 when he opted to join French side Nice, of course, managed at the time by former Arsenal invincible Patrick Vieira. Loan spells with Brentford B and Kilmarnock followed before a switch to Burnley's under-21s group back in January. Now then... Deji has said, I'm very happy to be here. Finally, it's over the line and I've signed, so I can't wait to get started. I want to get my career going and I want to prove myself back in England. And I think this is the club where I can do that. Now, manager Grant McCann has said, uh, Deji is going to be a good player for us, I feel. He has a real pace. He's very direct and he wants to get at people. At 20 years of age, he's got a lot of developing to do and a lot of learning to do. But we feel as if we can help him with that and in turn, he will help the team. He's a really exciting player. Now, it is important to mention that the free press reports that he had a number of clubs in Italy, Spain and Germany after his signature. I don't know who, I mean, if there's any Italian, German, uh, Spanish football transfer journalists watching this, you know, send me a message or comment down below if you know of any of those clubs. Or even, you know, I'll probably send this to Steve Jones of the Free Press and see if he can get any knowledge of the clubs. But all we know is reportedly there were interests from Italy, Spain and Germany. But I'm guess my personal guess was the kind of second division clubs uh, or third division clubs, but that's just a personal guess. Um, but still, that's it's good to get interest abroad. That's still pretty good because you can get some real development abroad. So the fact that he's chosen, you know, Rovers over Italy, Spain, and Germany is very nice indeed. Very, very nice. At the end of the day, it's all about first team football, and this guy will definitely get a chance. Definitely get at least try and earn his shot. Uh, now, I wasn't there at the Boston United game, but I have seen highlights of this guy from United days, from Burnley days. I'm not going to go too in detail about it because in my personal, you know, in terms of the research that I've had to do for this video, I've watched highlights of him at United and Burnley. Uh, I've read reports about him in the past. From what I can gather, he is a pacey player. He's a direct player. He said he's a direct player. Uh, not afraid to run at defenders. Not afraid to run at players. He's a very um, fearless player in that regard. He's a very fearless direct winger, which is exactly what we need. I think him and Roberts could strike up a very nice partnership because I think they're similar in certain traits. I think they're both really pacey. I think they're both fearless wingers. I think they're both, you know, direct. 
So they come straight. I think him and Roberts together is a nice partnership. I think Molyneux and Hurst, Satona and uh, Roberts and John Taylor will definitely lead on the on the right uh, ahead of. In my in my opinion, I think Taylor's a, Taylor could be head, ahead of Molyneux by the start of the season, but we'll just have to see how Taylor will come into it. I think Taylor needs more time uh, to try and come back into it. So for now, Molyneux leads. But of course, Tyler Roberts needs a shout, and he might get that at York City next Tuesday, but we'll see. I think at the moment, it's just Molyneux and Hurst leading the line, but we will have to see. Uh, but no, Dejita Satona, I think from what I could gather from Burnley days, United days, from past profiles and past articles, uh, and from what the Rovers fans that were at the Boston United game were saying, I think this is a very, very smart signing. It's a very much low-cost, potentially high-reward type of signing. At 20 years old, you've got a player here on a two-year deal who you could extend further beyond those two years if you wanted to, who could be a high-potential player. We've got a high-potential diamond in the rough here. Um, it's like the old saying, it's like what Amanda Holden said to Paul Potts in 2007 in his BGT audition. It's like a little lump of coal that could turn to a diamond here. I think that could be the case here with Deji. So... I think this could be a smart signing. If it doesn't pay off, it's one of them because, you know, we all remember Aidan Barlow. You know, we, we were hoping it was going to be potentially very good. Just didn't, you know, consistently end up being that. But he's hoping the different case with Deji. I think it was a different type of Doncaster Rovers um, when we were scouting Aidan Barlow. And that's nothing against Aidan because he's going to hopefully smash it at Eastleigh. But... Um, yeah, for me, I think Deji could be a different scenario than Twade and Barlow. I think that Deji's a diamond in the rough and could, could be a great signing overall. Uh, but it's good to have that potential player under our belt. It was important to get potential talent nailed on and under contract for at least a couple of years um, because then we've got a sort of long-term aspect to the squad rather than just a short-term with the experience and the, the talent on display in the starting eleven already. We also have that potential talent with Faulkner, with uh, Kuleya, with Goodman, with now Satona. So, you know, we've got potential in that squad as well as experience. We've got a nice balance. And I think that McCann's living a wonderful, wonderful window. And we knew that already before this signing. So, yeah, I'm really excited by this. I can't wait to see him play in the flesh myself. And, um, you know, whether that be Port Vale or Sheffield Wednesday or both, obviously it will probably will be both. But, you know, I, I just can't wait to see what he can do in a Rovers shirt, definitely. Because uh, what, what he's done in the past at times in other shirts has been promising. Uh, but there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Welcome to the club, Deji Satona. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.